December 1941. The world trembles under the dark shadow of World War II. The Japanese Empire, a rising power fueled by militaristic ambition, has unleashed its fury across the Pacific. The Philippines, a fledgling American commonwealth, stands in its path. Here, on the Bataan Peninsula, a crucible of courage and sacrifice awaits. A dark cloud descends as the Imperial Japanese Army launches a surprise attack, plunging the Pacific into flames. Caught woefully unprepared, ragtag force of American and Filipino troops stands defiant. Outnumbered and outgunned, they face the juggernaut of the Japanese war machine. Leading the charge is General Douglas MacArthur, a charismatic leader who vows to defend the Philippines to his last breath. But Bataan is no easy nut to crack. The Filipino Commonwealth Army, forged in the crucible of colonial struggle, fights with a ferocity born of defending their homeland. Side by side with their American counterparts, they dig in, transforming the dense jungle into a formidable defensive network. For weeks, the defenders hold firm. Their ingenuity knows no bounds. They repurpose old weaponry, use bamboo traps, and fight with a desperate courage that inspires the world. Newspapers across the globe trumpet the battling bastards of Bataan, a moniker that becomes a symbol of unwavering resistance. But resilience has its limits. Supplies dwindle, ammunition runs low, and hunger gnaws at the bellies of these brave men. Malaria and dysentery take their toll, weakening the already depleted ranks. Radio messages crackle with pleas for reinforcements that never arrive. Meanwhile, General MacArthur, under mounting pressure, is forced to make a heart-wrenching decision. He is ordered to evacuate to Australia, leaving his men behind. His tearful farewell speech echoes across the radio waves, a bitter pill to swallow for the soldiers on the front lines. Now truly alone, with dwindling hope, the remaining Filipino and American troops fight on. But the relentless Japanese assault proves too much to bear. On April 9, 1942, after three grueling months, Bataan falls. The exhausted defenders are forced to surrender. The surrender of Bataan marked a dark chapter in World War II, but it wasn't the end. The brutal Bataan death march awaited the captured soldiers, a horrific testament to Japanese barbarity. Yet, the spirit of Bataan, the spirit of Mukawama resistance, in Filipino and the unwavering courage of the American defenders, became a rallying cry for the Allied forces. It proved that even against impossible odds, a stand can be made, a message that would ultimately lead to victory. Today, we stand on the hallowed ground of Bataan, a place where heroes bled and dreams were shattered. We honor the memory of those who fought, Filipino and American alike. Their sacrifice reminds us that freedom comes at a cost, and that courage can bloom even in the darkest of times.